Welcome friends, it's Kaylee Bart and I recently finished painting a huge music room mural using nothing but house paint. I hope you learn a bit from watching my process. If you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding the bell because I'm always back for all your fine art tips and art biz advice. Here we have the music room before I've gotten started. This is a music room for a local facility called The Ark, which houses and cares for a number of autistic adults and seniors in the area. Due to the differing developmental abilities of their clientele, rhythmic instruments are the instruments of choice for this facility. So as requested, I used inspiration that I gathered directly from the percussion instruments I saw upon the shelves in the music room. If these folks are not able to play guitar, piano, flute, and some of the more challenging instruments, then I wanted to make sure that their mural reflected the fun and exciting ways that they are able to create music. Before anything, I had done a detailed mock-up drawing, of course, and luckily have a digital projector, so I was able to put up the more difficult parts on the wall, such as the staff and treble clef. I knew that those would be especially difficult to paint or even just draw and proportion on the wall freehand, so I traced out my initial drawing on the wall to make it much easier. Once I had everything drawn up on the wall, it was off to the races. This is an acrylic interior house paint. It's water-based. I really love using it. It's actually super smooth and has a really nice, thick, very full coverage application on the wall, which is great because although you might think drawing the actual shapes and drums and all that kind of stuff took the longest it was actually just drawing straight black lines this takes forever so the nice thick coverage definitely helped because i'm already having to go over it sort of more than once and make sure it all looked really nice but i'm telling you oh my gosh i was actually shocked by how long it took just to do the lines so relieved when it was done So as I was saying, the audience that will be using this room are not going to be playing specific songs on traditional instruments. This is more about rhythm and percussion and having a good time feeling the power of the instruments that they use. So rather than put all of the notes on the staff as if there was a right or wrong way to play these instruments, I thought it would be better to put music notes throughout the mural and put stars all over the staff. That way we get the feeling of music abounding without it feeling like there's certain songs or certain notes that are right or wrong. For the most part, I was alone around the building that I was painting this mural in, but occasionally there was like a maintenance man or something in the facility. So a few of these shots will show that I'm wearing a mask because you know, these days, safety first. As far as the chosen color palette goes, do you remember those drums I showed you at the beginning? Well, I was actually able to take one of those drums with me to the hardware store to get these different paint colors matched directly to those. We thought it would be a great idea if the folks that were playing the instruments would look up and see murals with the same exact instruments that are in their hands. How fun, right? What a way to really take part in the artwork around you. You'll see for the most part I decided to keep the colors and shapes that I was painting pretty bold, not a whole lot of highlights and lowlights on them, although you will see this nice little splash of highlight along the side of the gold drum and you'll also see it on the maracos and the tambourine. Just enough to really make things pop. And oh that tambourine. Definitely the most challenging part of this entire mural, but I loved it. It was a great challenge. I really wanted to make sure to get a really cool angle on it. As I said, I was doing very bold, simple shapes, but that did not mean that I wanted to shortchange a chance to do some very true to life and beautiful perspective. 
And once I was finished with everything and the paint was dry, I decided to go ahead and give everything a nice thin outline. I thought it would really help the colors pop by having that nice little moment of bright contrast surrounding it. And I think I was right. I'm super proud of this mural, you guys. I feel like it really filled the space nicely. The shapes were really bold. I love the way that we were able to incorporate the instruments into the actual mural. And I just had a really good time with this. Honestly, I don't do a lot of graphic imagery like this, but for this bold shape and for a music room, it was perfect. I'm just really, really thrilled how it turned out. And here we go, the completed music room. What a place to get creative, right? Yay! Thanks so much for being here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this mural as much as I enjoyed creating it. Make sure you go ahead and pop that subscribe button and ding the bell because I'm back every week with all kinds of fun, artsy goodness.